So my beautiful people, I am back with another old and ring video and today guys I showcase to you how you can get this easily missable curved sword known as the girls messer how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so the girls messer is a curved sword i'm probably saying that wrong to be honest guys it's probably pronounced um well you know i'm like my english but hey either way this curved sword is actually pretty rare to get i'd probably say about 89.9433% people know about this weapon and where to get it from. I know that number because of my WhatsApp group, you know what I mean, people. Now, all jokes aside, it's a weapon that's easily missable. It's a super rare drop from, you know, those skeletons you see within those catacombs. It drops from them. I'm not sure if every catacombs has these skeletons which drop this weapon. But either way, guys, it's pretty cool. Um, draw wheel this bad boy. Get that amazing jump mid-air attack where you hit about 25 times, you know what I mean? Two shots, every boss in the game. Not really, don't believe that bull crap. But yes. Um, it scales with that strength and that dexterity. Attributes required are 14 in strength and 12 in that dexterity. You can apply it and actually all this, guys, uh, to this, guys. So yes, making it much, much better. And, uh, well customizable as we love now i ain't bothered level leveling these up because it ain't really my kind of weapon i mean they are as good as they are like i said i've seen videos a couple of videos on these saying they're amazing it's a bleed is it a bleed weapon or do you have to make a bleed weapon people i get so confused by some of these fucking some of these videos this ain't no bleed weapon you can make it a bleed weapon by putting a national war uh skill on it yeah but that doesn't mean it's a naturally a bleed weapon gee that's a bleed weapon that's a blood loss build up weapon eh, eh, eh. oh but hey okay so where this is going from is where i got it from this catacombs right here and i'll show you exactly how to do this now i'm going to lead you from the bridge because obviously a lot of people won't have got to this point yet it can be a little confusion to get here so i'm going to use it i'm going to well, this, this place here, you can't miss, guys. So from this uh, grace point right here, guys, I'll show you where to get this. Now, you will need a stone sword key. We don't actually need one, but to make the farm more efficient, a stone sword key would be beneficial. But hey, okay, so when we're at this grace point, guys, pull out your, your horse, your mount, and we're going to head down and then go to our right. So I just want to jump off here. Well, actually, you'll come across the bridge. If you haven't got that grace point, you'll come across that bridge and run straight down here past that girl on your left who I haven't even spoken to yet. 520 hours playthrough, haven't spoken to her yet, as you do. Big uh, giant on your right, run past him. Ignore all these dudes, just sprint past them all, guys. Just sprint past them all. And run past all these two. Just go, 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 go. And up here, we want to take a sharp turn to our right. Just like that. I'm just going to go forward. We'll go through like a little pond, I believe. If I remember correctly. So run through here. Just like so. Now we'll come to like a carriage. Behind the carriage is... Um, actually, you could probably go up that way across that bridge. But no, we're going to go this way. We're going to keep going this way because it's the way I know. Yeah, but behind that uh, carriage is one of those jump pads for your horse. So yeah, that's the way we're going to head. I just get a uh, runes and what even happened? And I can see the, is it a carriage or is it a building? I don't know. It's probably just a building. <laughs> yeah, it's a building, it's not a carriage. My bad, my bad people. But yeah, there's jump pad. So we're going to jump up here, just like so. And we're going to go up there actually, but we've got to run around. So we're going to land right here. Come this way, people. You can probably still hear my voice. Just getting over this crazy ass cold I've had. Crazy ass cold I've had. So yeah, still still coughing a bit. Nose is a little bit blocked still, but hey, it's here. So there's where we marked on the map, guys. And the catacombs is literally behind this pillow by these jellyfish. We just run through the door. And there is a grace point right in front of you. Now this is the grace point we're gonna run back to. Uh, so you activate that, you run down here. Now this is where the stone sword key is needed. Right there. So use that. Now I'm going to put in a weapon, which I was using, because there's one of the guys in here that drops this, uh, this sword. It's him here. 
But there's a guy that spawns behind you with a shield who can be annoying. So yeah, if you just pop this in the middle of the room, you know, to get that second phase where they get back up. Just keep doing this and uh, farm them. And then what you do, guys, is you'd run back up. You'd, that is not the weapon, by the way. Uh, you'd run up back up to here. Sit back down. Rinse and repeat, guys. Rinse and repeat. So yes, like I said, only the guy in the far left corner can drop this. This guy right here. This guy right here. You can see the difference with the weapon. It's way, way bigger than the one he's holding. And like I will say as well, I farmed this for so long. It just wasn't dropping for me. Trying my hardest using my tear mask, using my silver scarab. Wasn't having any of it. Now, if you haven't got a stone sword king, you want to farm this, you can come down here. Um, take another right down here. Uh, not this guy, but there's a skeleton that was spawned right there. Let's take out him so it burns me alive. You can see the skeleton right there. Farm him too. There are a few others down as well, but it's just way more efficient just to run back up to the grace or even teleport back to the grace and run back down. As simple as that, guys. And like I said, you want to dual wield these, so you want to obviously farm two of them if you haven't got a pal to drop you one. But there we have it, guys. That is how you get the gross Mercer curved sword. Pretty cool, pretty badass. I'm sorry, jellyfish. You go down. But yeah. If you're a collector like me and you want every weapon in the game, these are one for that collection. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.